Good morning, students and staff. It is time for our morning news and announcements. Today is Friday, October 30th, 2020. And now for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States to America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may all be seated. Now for the school pledge. Please recite along with me. I promise to treat others with kindness and respect. Keep our school safe, be ready to learn, have a positive attitude, and give my personal best every day. I am a special person. I am a wildcat. Yesterday's birthday celebration was for Mason Dixon. Today's birthday celebrations are for Kenneth Bolin and Jazaria Logan. Over the weekend, we have a birthday on Saturday, Aubrey Moorhead. If you guys would come to the office for your birthday surprise. If you could, this is just a friendly reminder to please make sure you do your uh, student attendance uh, every morning by 8.30. Thank you. For book character day, I decided to dress up like Ruby in Ruby the Copycat. Now, it's not my favorite book character, but it's one that I've read to a few classes here at BPS. Ruby the Copycat by Peggy Rathman. Monday was Ruby's first day in Miss Hart's class. Class, this is Ruby, announced Miss Hart. Ruby, you may use the empty desks behind Angela. Angela is the girl with the pretty red bow in her hair. Angela smiled at Ruby. Ruby smiled at Angela's bow and tiptoed to her seat. I hope everyone had a pleasant weekend, said Miss Hart. Does anyone have something to share? I was the flower girl at my sister's wedding, said Angela. Well, that's exciting, said Miss Hart. Ruby raised her hand halfway. I was the flower girl at my sister's wedding, too. What a coincidence, said Miss Hart. Now, a coincidence um, is Miss Hart saying two things happened at the same time by accident. Angela turned and smiled at Ruby. Ruby smiled at the top of Angela's head. Class, please take out your reading books, said Miss Hart. At lunchtime, Ruby hopped all the way home on one foot. Wow, Ruby hopped all the way home on one foot. She must be a really good hopper. When Ruby came back to school, she was wearing a red bow in her hair. Hmm, so Ruby's wearing a red bow now too. What's that all about? She slid into her seat behind Angela. I like your bow, whispered Angela. I like yours too, whispered Ruby. Class, please take out your math books, said Miss Hart. On Tuesday morning, Angela wore a sweater with daisies on it. At lunchtime, Ruby hopped home sideways. When Ruby came back to school after lunch, she was wearing a sweater with daisies on it. Now we know why the title of the story is Ruby the Copycat. What did Ruby do at lunchtime? Yep, she went home and she put a sweater on with daisies on it, just like Angela's. I like your sweater, whispered Angela. I like yours too, whispered Ruby. On Wednesday, Angela wore a hand-painted t-shirt with matching sneakers. After lunch, Ruby hopped back to school wearing a hand-painted t-shirt with matching sneakers. Why are you sitting like that, whispered Angela. Wet paint, said Ruby. So why is there wet paint? Oh, she painted her clothes to match Angela's when she went home, and they're not dry yet. On Thursday morning, during sharing time, Angela modeled the flower girl dress she wore at her sister's wedding. 
Ruby modeled her flower girl dress too, right after lunch. Angela didn't whisper anything. Hmm, Angela's not whispering to Ruby now. Why do you think that is? I agree, I think Angela is probably angry at Ruby for copying her. By coincidence, on Friday morning, both girls wore a red and lavender striped dress. At lunchtime, Angela raced home. Now, that is a coincidence. For once, Ruby didn't have to copy Angela. Both girls were just happened to wear the same dress to school. We also just read that at lunchtime, Angela raced home. Uh-oh, now Angela's racing home. What do you think that's all about? When Angela came back to school, she was wearing black. What does this tell us about Angela? She doesn't want to look like Ruby anymore, probably. On Friday afternoon, Miss Hart asked everyone to write a short poem. Who would like to read first? asked Miss Hart. Angela raised her hand. She stood by her desk and read. I had a cat I could not see because it stayed in back of me. It was a very loyal pet. It's sad we really never met. Now, a loyal pet is always there for you. I bet the cat in Angela's poem sits behind Angela and never lets Angela see her is supposed to be Ruby. It sounds as though Angela is sad that she doesn't really get to know Ruby, the real Ruby. Well, that was very good, said Miss Hart. Now, who's next? Miss Hart looked around the room. Ruby? Ruby stood and recited slowly. Recited means that she was saying something out loud to an audience. I had a nice pet who I never met because it always stayed behind me. And I'm sure it was a cat too. What did Ruby just do? Ruby smiled at the back of Angela's head. Someone whispered and Ruby sat down. What a coincidence murmured Miss Hart. Do you really think that Miss Hart really thought it was a coincidence? Probably not. Angela scribbled something on a piece of paper. She passed it to Ruby. The note said, you copied me. I'm telling Miss Hart. P.S. I hate your hair that way. Well, that was kind of mean. Why do you think Angela wrote that? Ruby buried her chin in the collar of her blouse. A big tear rolled down her nose and plopped onto the note. When the bell rang, Miss Hart sent everyone home except Ruby. Miss Hart closed the door of the schoolroom and sat on the edge of Ruby's desk. Ruby, dear, she said gently, you don't need to copy everything Angela does. You can be anything you want to be, but be Ruby first. I like Ruby. Miss Hart smiled at Ruby. Ruby smiled at Miss Hart's beautiful, polished fingernails. Oh no, what do you think is gonna happen next? I think she might start copying Miss Hart. Have a nice weekend, says Miss Hart. Have a nice weekend, said Ruby. On Monday morning, Miss Hart said, I hope everyone had a pleasant weekend. I did, I went to the opera. Miss Hart looked around the room. Does anyone else have something to share? Ruby waved her hand. Glued to every finger was a pink plastic fingernail. I went to the opera too, said Ruby. She did not, whispered Angela. Miss Hart folded her hands and looked very serious. Ruby, dear, said Miss Hart gently, did you do anything else this weekend? Ruby peeled off a fingernail. I hopped, said Ruby. Think about what we already knew about Ruby. Is she copying anyone now? The class giggled. Ruby's ears turned red. But I did. I hopped around the picnic table 10 times. Ruby looked around the room. Watch. Ruby sprang from her desk. She hopped forward. She hopped backward. She hopped sideways with both eyes shut. What does this tell us about Ruby's hopping? 
I agree. I think she's the best hopper ever. The class cheered and clapped their hands to the beat of Ruby's feet. Ruby was the best hopper they had ever seen. Miss Hart turned on the tape player and said, follow the leader, do the Ruby hop. So Ruby led the class around the room while everyone copied her. And at noon, Ruby and Angela hopped home for lunch. One of the reasons I like Ruby is because she learns through the story that it is so much better to just be yourself. We had some great book characters yesterday at BPS. Let's take a look. Good morning, teachers. Um, just a reminder about the Cherokee uh, Literacy Council. Um, I'm still taking that up through this Friday. So please, um, if you don't mind, this form right here that was sent to you um, in your email, if you need a copy of it, let me know. It is $15 and fill out the form and get that to me by Friday. Also, thank you and have a fabulous Friday.